Let's go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film in the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, these past couple of weeks, we have been learning more and more about the final film in this trilogy. We've learned about new characters, Mara, Karo, Xander, etc., even the group of male actors in their 20s working with Adam Driver, which is highly assumed to be the Knights of Ren. Now, J.J. Abrams is going to be directing this movie at the very end of July. All of the different actors and actresses are currently training for their roles before they begin filming later this this, later this summer in July. So looking at everything when it comes to Star Wars Episode 9, one thing that we have learned aside from the fact that there will be one of the biggest lightsaber duels in the Star Wars franchise embedded in Star Wars Episode 9 to really end it all off. The other thing is that there will be big twists and turns coming for the final film in the sequel trilogy involving both characters Kylo Ren and Rey. Now, we've heard something similar like this with The Last Jedi. Some of you guys may say to yourselves, well, this sounds familiar. And looking at The Last Jedi, the twists and turns that we got in that film, I guess you could say are the death of Supreme Leader Snoke, the fact that Luke Skywalker used the Force projection technique, and, well, the fact that Luke Skywalker died and that Yoda cameo. To me, when it comes to these big twists and turns, I really just hope that they are gonna be a whole lot larger than what we received in The Last Jedi with Snoke, the Force projection technique, etc. So, looking at Episode 9, the fact that these twists and turns will involve both Kylo Ren and Rey, this brings up quite a number of questions about Rey's identity. Now, John Williams, who does all of the music, right, the score for the Star Wars movies, he's a a great guy and in one of his podcasts we actually talked about this numerous times is that John Williams actually doesn't believe that Ray's parents are nobody in fact that she's a nobody specifically he doesn't believe in it he doesn't buy it of what Ron Johnson essentially came up with in that movie However, going into episode 9, we may very well learn more about exactly who Rey is. After all, Daisy Ridley did say that at the very end of The Last Jedi, there's going to be a whole lot more questions that fans will be thinking for a couple of years. So going into episode 9, I know I brought this up quite a number of times. What about the concept of maybe not that her parents are special people, but what about her grandparents? Now, to some of you guys out there that may sound pretty lame and might not sound surprising at all, but in a ways it does in fact make sense. Because if you think about it, if she really is, you know, the offspring of somebody not too important, why not the grandparents, right? I think that would be something a whole lot more interesting. What if she's a descendant of the Palpatines, for example, where Palpatine, you know, had a child with somebody and that actually became Rey's parents. But looking at, you know, Kylo Ren specifically, what twists and turns could we expect for Star Wars Episode Nine with that character? Could it be a redemption arc? I don't know, that seems a little predictable now, doesn't it? What if there's something else that's going to be quite shocking to the fans by J.J. Abrams? Now, there's a lot of controversy on how J.J. Abrams ends a lot of his stories and how he can't wrap up a story from what I've heard from a lot of you guys out there. Looking at the Star Wars franchise, I am crossing my fingers because this is something that is a big task, right? It's very hard to complete and I think that J.J. really has to pour his heart and soul into this movie, and he has to do it right at the very end of the film. So, Colin Trevorrow's original script, and I'm really hoping that this does in fact carry over, when he was going over it with Daisy Ridley, she was crying about her character, Rey. And that led me to believe that her character, Rey, dies. It's like a flip side of the coin here, right? In, of course, you know, at the very end of Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader dies, becomes Anakin Skywalker once again. The hero lives in the flesh, Luke Skywalker. So he lives, lives. What if they did that in a different sense at the very end of Episode 9, where Rey dies, but Ben Solo turns and lives on? 
but Rey, the main hero of the sequel trilogy, passes away. They could do something around those lines. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.